turbo is just hanging out from the bottom. Oh. So much aero. So much aero. Vinny, step into my office. This isn't your office. Uh, my stuff's in here. That's how that works. You should try it sometime. How long do you think until Brian notices? I... Wait, is this Brian's office? Oh, How does he have a secret office? Because this is my office. Yo, this bacon holder is you, sick. Stop touching my stuff. You play tic-tac-toe by yourself? Stop. <laughs> Can you have a seat? We have a DTT to do. No, you're not supposed to sit up. What? That's not my... <laughs> what are you eating? That's... <laughs> this is a business office. Stop touching my stuff. Okay. Focus. Welcome to Daily Transmissions Tangents. Welcome to my office. Today we're gonna show you guys the Porsche effect. Ooh, this is like literally polishing turds. Yeah. Take us dirt bags and bring them to a uh, fancy event. There was millions and millions of dollars. You, you know the Peterson Automotive Museum. You may have been there, you may have seen it. We've been there before, we've shown you some stuff. We've done some stuff there before. Yeah, but this time, Porsche had an exclusive exhibit of really awesome cars, some featuring friends of ours like Jeff Swart and cars that I've never seen but are really cool looking, so I enjoyed them. I like 911s and Porsches and stuff. When we got the invite to go, not only was I kind of shocked because yeah. I was like, why the hell would we get the invite to go? When they were doing like their opening ceremony, yeah. we couldn't help but like dick off. We're scumbags, we're <laughs> like, scumbags. Stupid stuff. Well, I was late. And... <laughs> was like 45 minutes late, he walks in, I'm like texting. And... Yeah, and the cool thing about it for us is that we actually got to go through the exhibit before anyone else. So this is not opening day, this is the day before media day or whatever you want to call it. So we're just a bunch of scumbags in a room with people who belong there. Check it out. Uh, so we're at the Peterson Museum. Berno came <laughs> because we knew Hurt probably wouldn't know anything about any of these cars here. Luckily, this tour started at 10.30. How are we doing? 10.45 and uh, Hertz not here yet, so we're waiting in the lobby. So I just got to the Porsche event. I'm a little late. Hey guys. So people often say the Porsche has a specific DNA with their cars. And one of them is set up that story. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Sorry, I'm late. They're talking about a Hertz event. Yes. So all of those things combined define what we call the Porsche effect. Yeah, you're the only two things standing in the way of seeing the rest of the evening. Uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> so we made it to the Peterson Automotive Museum. What's this called again? Porsche effect. It says it right on the wall. Yeah. yeah. We're here for the Porsche effect. Why are we here for the Porsche effect? Why are you here for the Porsche because effect? Because I wanted to learn something. I thought Scott was going to be here, so I'm genuinely surprised to see you guys instead of him. He definitely knows more than us. I don't know how much I'm going to learn from you guys. This is clearly about the birth of an icon. I don't want to read this. Shit. I want you guys to drop knowledge on me. So, Benny. Hey, what's up? I know you love these cars. Uh, I do, but I'm not super knowledgeable about them. What are you most excited about, though? Which one are you most excited about? I don't about? know. I haven't walked around enough. I mean, race cars are cool, so I just want to go check out race cars. I don't see any race cars in here. What do you mean? How don't you see any race cars? Uh, oh, there's race cars. Let's go start with the race cars. All right. We don't need to bore the people with some, I mean, it's a beautiful car. Doesn't Jeff Swart have one of those? Yeah. God, Jeff Swart's so cool. Jeff Swart's the only Porsche guy that I really love. What about Brian? I love Brian, but not because he's, he's not a, like. He's just an odd Yeah, he's just an guy. odd dude. If you stood Jeff Swart and Brian Scott next to each other, you wouldn't be like Porsche guy and. Yeah, you're just like Porsche guy and wood guy car, just likes weird. Wood rail things. car guy. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of funny looking things. It looks like a Saturn. This. <laughs> Worst this. You could put four people in it. It's got a V8. That's what I'm talking about. That color is fire, though. Yeah. Take a gander at that. You know what European car companies do really well? Is they make like really fancy names for things like America did. Like a station wagon, touring. This weird two-door hatchback. It's called a study. A study? Oh, like, 
Like that just they just class it up. So what does that more. even mean? I don't think it's German. I think it's actual study. Like it was a design study. And to it, it, no, the car is just called the study. study. Looks like something Brian would own. Is that a flat? Is that a flat? Twelve. 650 horsepower. Damn. Why does this look carbon fiber? That's what I'm saying. It looks like what a, is Kevlar, that? a Kevlar cylinder head. That is the most balling shit I've ever seen. 1969, after they turboed this, it was making over 1,000 horsepower. It went 240 miles an hour. In 1969. That's, That's nuts. kind of the year. Have you seen these race cars before? No, no. never. Turbo fans? Turbo fans are sick. Uh, Vinny, I know your favorite part about this car is those Johnnies right there. Yeah, dude, these are so Euro. <laughs> you had those on your Mark IV GTI. So that Johnny is in there. That's beautiful. Yeah. Center seat, 240 miles an hour. Just look, at the, look at the seating position. Imagine, yeah, this, imagine doing 240 in there. All I, all I know is I love that red suede or whatever that is in there. I couldn't imagine driving this thing. No, it's probably pretty, pretty sketchy. It's beautiful, I won't lie. This is actually a really cool looking car. Oh my gosh, I think I'm turning into a Porsche guy. <laughs> You'd be this really type guy. of Porsche guy. Like, just leave your car filthy, some body damage. Um, I promise you this right now. But keep I, the wheels I would never be this kind of <laughs> Porsche guy. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> First guy with the slammed rally car. Does Jeff Swar have one of these too? Yeah, he does. God, I love him. He does, yeah. <laughs> so, this is your favorite one, Alex? So far, yeah. yeah. I, mean, this is, I always come back to this. this no, is, you gotta go to the back. Yeah, you know, the fins, the Dude, fins it's, it's on the. the God, that is. Are you ready? Come this way. Show me the way. Show me All the right, way. First off, look at this. Concept. Just like look at this angle. There's just so much arrow, yeah. and then it gets even sicker. You have the turbos just hanging out from the bottom. Oh. So much arrow. So much arrow. They're so sick. Every like few inches, there's something crazy happening. But so the cool nice. thing about Porsche is uh, all these crazy, crazy versions, they always leave like the stock tail lights from the old version. So you can kind of see like there's an old car under here and they just built on top of and it. And they just went crazy. So, this car is, so sick. it's gorgeous. I would love to drive some of these things, not gonna I'll, lie. I'll drive that. Not gonna lie. What the, f that's what, we're what the fuck? You know, before the KKK, <laughs> there was the KKK who made turbos. And they still do. Uh, I think only when they're in a line together, right? I don't know what to even. Let's just go to the next <laughs> one. Heard it found the type of Porsche guy you'd be. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vinny, you know me so That'd well. It. <laughs> it's good music. This music is yeah, fantastic. <laughs> This is not a good thing. The Porsche viewers are gonna hate us for for looking at this. Take us back to when you first saw this car. Um, too fast, too furious. I'm too fast for y'all, man. Too fast, <laughs> too furious. We gotta get caught of some of these. <laughs> This is just like the sim. All the sim training is finally about to pay off. You gotta get in. <laughs> no, I don't know if they would like that. <laughs> I don't know if they would like that. I don't know if they've ever seen anyone break a carbon fiber seat before. Cut to the footage of her getting in Will Tet's car. Go back a little bit. Are you sure? Uh, uh, that's it. You're good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Whoops, did I? No, you're good. We're comfortable in here. Man, you should have never let me in here. I'm breaking everything. <laughs> it's all right. You might need to put some water down, huh? Yeah. I just wrecked your whole car. This is my jam. What, this? Yeah. We were saying, it's like sim training. Before I said anything, I forgot Teague is currently on the leaderboard. Still waiting for my belt. Yeah, really heartbroken. Hurt and Teague are like two tenths of a second off. It's nuts. <laughs> Finally, a ride height you can relate to, right? I like how that's always been the universal like just like measure of, <laughs> of ride height. You're like, oh, my car's pretty low. Just uh. <laughs> 
If there's one thing you take away from this little segment, it's that Hurt is now pronouncing the word properly, because, which is a big step for us. Because, man, I'll get made fun of. So I'll say it right, all right? <laughs> Porch. So we're here at the Porsche Effect, the Peterson Automotive Museum, and we ran into our good buddy, Busy. Moto. <laughs> How's it going, man? I'm How's it great. going? How are it's good you? to see you. It's good, good to see you. See you. Well. Yeah. But I'm glad I saw you today because I have something really exciting for you. I have something I need to bring to you guys. It's a center seat, mid engine Porsche, fixed seat, telescoping pedals, telescoping steering. And huh? I put a line lock, a line lock on a Porsche. Who does that? For you guys. So I'm going to bring it over. For us? Yes, nice. Just That's for you guys. For us? And I have it's a button just for her. I have a button for him that has his name on it. And you see what happens when he presses it. Wait, wait, so that means, that you. means you're gonna let me drive oh, you're it? Driving. Oh my oh, god. Driving. I have a big seat for him too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much it for the Porsche effect here at the Peterson Automotive Museum. I think we showed you everything that they love because I don't know anything about these, but I kind of fell in love while I was here. There's some really big motors with big, really big power, big turbos, and cannot disrespect any of this stuff. Like, that is just not, it's not a right. It's Even not Teague right. smiled, which, like, it's pretty, let's capture it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. All right, gentlemen, this is a Hoonigan emergency broadcast. It's February. Do you know what that means? It means that Valentine's Day is coming up. You know what that also means? That you might have forgot to get somebody Maybe your special someone a gift. It happens. Car parts are expensive sometimes, and usually they take precedence over everything else in your life. But don't you worry because Hoonigan has you covered. See, with any purchase of over $10 or more in the store, we're gonna include a free candy bar. Which means that if you go and try to get yourself a shirt or a hat or whatever else it is that you're gonna buy anyway, you're gonna get a candy bar as well, and uh, you have something to give to your significant other to make you look like you actually uh, thought about it this year. It's a win-win. Well, you know my name is Simon, and I like to do drawings. So now we're gonna talk about race car livery design with a really bright light in my face. I almost feel like I'm being interrogated. That's what I feel like right now. I don't really see. Oh my gosh, it's getting brighter. What's up? Today I'm with Drawing with John. We're gonna talk about an opportunity we had to uh, design a race car livery for our good friend, you may know her, Leah Pritchett. She drives a uh, small top fuel dragster, 11,000 horsepower, goes 322 miles an hour, simple things. She wanted us to kind of mix it up a little bit and make something that would be interesting for her and her team and also for the spectators. So we had the opportunity to do that. We've actually got to design several liveries in the past. One in particular was BJ Baldwin and his truck, Alec Honadale and his drift car for Formula Drift, and one that people probably don't even know is Jason Ellis and his Can-Am side by side. What about shit cars? Oh yeah, we did shit car too. I don't really consider that a livery though. It's like done in the parking lot with spray cans, but I guess that is one. Good call. Teague, bonus points. So when Leah came to us, she's like, hey, I need some help with this stuff. Can you guys add some, you know, add some hooning into it? And uh, our initial concept they sent over was, we'll say safe. And um, this class, the factory stock class, is very reminiscent of uh, the golden age of drag racing. So it should be like 1959, 1960 to 1974-ish. So the Mopar will be racing against Chevy Cobo Camaros, Ford Mustang Cobra Jets. That was the rivalry happening back in those days. The win, race on Sunday, sell on Monday kind of thing, where people, these cars look like regular cars, they're production cars. Very exciting time, and this series brings that back, basically. Right away in my mind, that time frame, that golden age of drag racing, sparked the inspiration, so. We can talk about it a little briefly right here. Panels, that's very much of the time. Some stripes, pinstripe lines almost, which follows the body. Predominant Mopar branding on the car is a must. Added the red tint to it, just because back in the day, that's what you did, you tinted your windows. Also, with something a little bit different, they wanted to go all black this year. So, did the first version of this in a light gray base color. Really makes it stand out a little bit more. One thing I did add though, which doesn't show up really well in the printouts, is the marbleizing effect in the blue panels. It's just something that back in the day you would have done in paint. Granted, this is all gonna be in vinyl. That's just how it is nowadays. So yeah, that's basically the overall concept behind this. It's just to have fun 
be exciting, not be boring. When you deal with large corporations and their brand marks, like say the Mopar, exactly, they're very, very particular on how their marks are put into print. But in my case, man, it looked really good in gold because that's kind of what would fit that theme back then. And uh, lucky for us, Mopar gave us a seal of approval and we got to move forward with this because it would be really boring if that was a different color. We got some Hoonigan branding on it too. That's a bonus. By the way, livery, for those who don't know, that's what this is called in the race car world. This is the overview for Leah Pritch's 2018 factory stock race car. I'm gonna go back to doing something. I always got things, so thanks. See you guys later. What's happening, fellow Hoonigans? I'm Leah Pritchett, driver of this 332 mile an hour top fuel dragster in the NHRA. It's 24 races all across the country, but there's something special this year. I'm also gonna be running the factory stock class sportsman at seven events across the country. So that's a 2.9 Whipple supercharged Gen 3 354 Hemi, 167 mile an hour. We're looking to run in the sevens this year, but what I need your help with is our livery. So I reached out to our friends at Hoonigan and said, man, come up with something cool, something different. So they gave us two options. One's light, one's dark, and this is where I need your help deciding. So head over to hoonigan.com slash LP, show us your love, see what you think, whatever the masses decides, that's what's gonna end up on the track. Obviously the Peterson is, is super exclusive and full of really cool cars. And then they've got a secret vault, which they took us to, and that's where all that expensive stuff was. And we're the just, Fast and Furious car. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How are we not gonna talk oh. about that? We got, all right. Suki's car was there. Yeah, yeah. So we got a little bit, of, we got a little taste of history. Too Fast, Too Furious, S2000, pink, airbrushed by John's friend. No. John, John the design daddy here. I didn't here. know that, really? Yeah, his friend actually airbrushed that car. Yo. Wow, this should be a whole other segment. Yeah. Because you, so John has a little piece in that. Nads also has a piece in the Fast yeah. and Furious. The There's some heritage in this building. The core roots of this company. We're nerds <laughs> who bought movie tickets to go watch the Fast and the oh, Furious yeah. when it came out. So like we're all here at Hoonigan, we're deep rooted in Fast and Furious heritage. My favorite part was the red wire. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> There's a red wire running along the door because they couldn't uh, find a better place to route it. Is this a wire? <laughs> Is this a wire? <laughs> is that a... <laughs> Sick routing, dog. Yeah. Comment below if you'd like to see some of the Fast and Furious cars here. Yeah. I don't even know how to make this happen. I'm sure the oldest rice are alive. Nads will oh, get the car. Right. But you guys have to fucking like Nads. You have to like Nads if he's gonna do that for you. For us. Nads, get the Fast and Furious cars here or else. Get them here. Or else. All of them. I want the Supra and the RX-7. Yeah. What's your favorite Fast and Furious car? RFIP? Favorite, favorite one? I guess the Super was kind of the iconic. Yeah. Like that that was the car. I like the FD, but it didn't uh, it didn't have you know besides Too Soon Junior. Yeah. How big of a role did it have in the movie? You know. Wait, no. Too Soon Junior wasn't the FD. That was the S two thousand. Johnny Trans oh, S two thousand versus the Jetta. Oh fuck! I'm an idiot. Ah, this is. <laughs> Come on, that's, that's the S2K, man. And then the Jetta, no, the Jetta wait, wouldn't no. ever what even did, be close to racing. What did, what, did, what did Ben Diesel say to Paul Walker when he hit the NOS? It was, no, I'm Too right. Soon, yeah, I'm right. You're wrong. No way. Cut to the footage of whoever's right or wrong. And it's, just, what does Ben Diesel say to Paul Walker when Paul Walker hits the NOS and then he's like, and wins that fucking first race? God, yes! I I just get school? Yeah, God. you did. How dare you cut Like, you had me lose faith in myself, and that's not an Man. easy thing to do. And I'm actually, I'm mad at you now. You didn't know the history, and you called me wrong, so I'm mad at you for both. How did we go from Porsche effect to Fast and the Furious? I don't know. It's a good transition, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost positive Tushin Jr. is Ben Diesel to Paul Walker. Zach, where are we at? I'm waiting on our really... Get the juicers. Lame ass. <laughs> 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 That's so good. All right, let's see it. Show us the video. Oh, watching the whole racing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Is this Here. danger to manifold? Danger to manifold. Guess who's too soon? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Stage two? Oh, the floor's coming out! 
Yeah. I don't know anything about movies. Why? You just explained. Right? I feel like we could have just Googled the script. No, we didn't say it! Wait, wait, wait! wait. Scene. Go to the race wars. Go to the no, race wars. No. Yes. No. Type in. No. no type go in the race Open YouTube. Go open YouTube. YouTube. No, open YouTube. You're just gonna watch no, the video. No. 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 Just gonna watch. <laughs> Too soon, Junior. Ah! Yes! <laughs> God. I knew it. It's the same scene. It's the same <laughs> scene. Just different people and three or four <laughs> more words. All right. Well, that's, that's it, it for the Porsche that's effect. It. I hope you enjoyed our mini field trip. <laughs> Vinny was right, I was fucking wrong. <laughs> God! Cut all of this out, I can't let, I, oh, man. Give me your, my shit. God Oh, damn sorry, it. we got way too excited in there. Yeah, I apologize, <laughs> apologize. We got where at work, apologize. Ah, oh, you're right now. Oh.